In this problem, we'll factor a polynomial. We're asked to factor the polynomial 28x minus 48 plus 10x squared. The first thing we need to look for is a common factor. I see that I do have a common factor of 2. Before I factor it out, I'm going to rewrite this in descending order of powers of x so that I can recognize any other patterns. So I'll rewrite this as 10x squared plus 28x minus 48, and then I'll factor out the common factor of 2. I have 2 times 5x squared plus 14x minus 24. Now, in my parentheses, I have a trinomial. And if the trinomial does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. Since 5 can only be factored as 1 times 5, I know that it's going to look something like 5x plus or minus something times x plus or minus something. The tricky part will be to find out what to fill in here and the rest of the binomial factors. 24 factors into a lot of different products. 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 6 times 4. All of those will be possibilities to put in here. Only one of them will hopefully give us a middle term of 14. Now something before we begin checking them is to note that we have negative 24, so the products, the, the factors will have to be one positive and one negative. So let's go to another piece of paper because it could take a little bit of work to figure out what we've got. I want 5x and x and I want this to equal 5x squared plus 14x minus 24. Now I'm going to choose numbers so that the product is negative 24. I've already chosen the first term in each binomial so the product is 5x squared. So what I'm really going to be checking for is the middle term is at 14x. Now my possibilities again will be 1 and 24 and since I'm multiplying it by 5, this number by 5 and this number by 1x, really 24 and 1 will be possibilities. I'll come back with a negative sign in a minute. 2 and 12, 12 and 2, 3 and 8, 8 and 3, 4 and 6, 6 and 4. Lots of possibilities. Now, one of these has to be negative, and actually, I technically have twice as many possibilities because I could have 1 and negative 24 or negative 1 and positive 24. However, you don't have to check both of those because I'm going to just choose that my second one is negative. If I do a product and I end up with a middle term of negative 14x, then all I need to do is switch the term, the signs of this, and I will get my positive 14x. So that's why I don't have to do negative 1 and 24. If I don't get positive or negative 14x, then I know that the other way of writing this, negative 1 times with a positive 24, can't be right either. So I am going to try 5x plus 1x minus 24. Now, to shorten things up, I'm not going to write the 5x squared and the negative 24 in each of these products. I'm not going to write an equal sign either because they're not equal because I've designed this so that these first term and this last term will always be accurate. My middle term is negative 24 times 5 plus 1. Now I could multiply that out, though I really don't need to because negative 24 times 5x plus x I know is not 14 or negative 14. It's 120, negative 120 plus 1, that'd be negative 119x. It's much too big to be 14. So that one is not a pos that one is not correct. So I'll try the next one. I have 5x plus 24 times x minus 1. My middle term then would be negative 5x plus 24x, which is 
x. That's close to 14, but not exact. So I'll try 5x plus 2, 5x minus, or not just x, minus 12. My middle term will be 5x times negative 12, that's negative 60x plus 2x, which gives me negative 58x. That's not right. So now I try 5x plus 12, x minus 2. My middle term will be negative 10x plus 12x, which is 2x. That's not 14. I'll try 5x plus 3, x minus 8. My middle term will be negative 40x plus 3x, which is negative 37x. That's not 14 or negative 14. I will try 5x plus 8, x minus 3. My middle term is negative 15x plus 8x, which is negative 7x. Again, that's not right. I'll try 5x plus 4, x minus 6. My middle term will be 5, no, 5 times negative 6, negative 30x plus 4x, which is negative 26x. I hope the last one works. 5x plus 6, x minus 4 gives me negative 20x plus 6x, which is negative 14x. Ah, it's not exactly right, but I know I've got the right one here, just about. Since 5x plus 6 times x minus 4 gives me a middle term of negative 14x, 5x minus 6 times x plus 4 should give me the right term, right middle term. I'm going to write that in here and then I'm going to check it because I did a lot of work there switching signs and stuff. To check this, I multiply the binomials and I get 2 times 5x squared plus 20x minus 6x which gives me plus 14x minus 24. Multiplying that, I get 10x squared plus 28x minus 48, which is what we started with, just rearranged. Now, this is the factorization of the original polynomial. On a test, um, Hopefully, we'll be able to not have to go through every possibility like that. You may not have to go down the list. You may see you've got big numbers at the top and you drop to the bottom and check those. But even if you do have to check all of them, as long as you write everything out neatly and keep track of your work, you can find the correct factorization.